guys around here. Um, I'm going to do a haul. So I don't know how many people have a Dollar Tree near them. I think they're pretty much everywhere. I just love that store. Um, you can find pretty much everything in that store. In fact, I'm going to do a challenge coming up shortly, maybe next week, on the $10 makeup challenge. And I think I probably can get everything right out of Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I love these little trash bags. There's 50, there used to be 100, but there's 50 um, little trash bags for like a bathroom trash can, uh, maybe your bedroom trash can, little, you know, small trash cans. Anyway, I got this white, which is vanilla scented, these pink ones for my bedroom, and they are rose scented. And these little blue ones for my bathroom. And they are, I think, vanilla, vanilla scented. I can't remember. Fresh mountain scent. See that? When you read, you find things out. Fresh mountain air scented. So those were a buck. 50 little trash bags in each one for a dollar. Can't beat it, right? Um... I used to use salon selectives all the time when I was younger. I don't know if the quality has gotten any worse or any better, but I do notice that it is a lot cheaper now than what I currently use, which is um, Tresemme or, uh, oh, what the hell is that other one called? Herbal Essences. Um, but I dye my hair and my hair is processed. So this is like the, the um, Aussie three minute deep conditioner. This is the Salon Selective's 3-Minute Hair Therapy Intense Conditioning Treatment. I figured for a dollar, I'll give it a try. It has argon oil from Morocco in it. And the one thing I don't particularly like too much about this product is it doesn't have a pump or anything. You kind of just got to reach in there, like, you know, with your little claw hands. It does smell really good. It's not real perfumey, but it does have a little bit of a perfumey smell to it. Now, I did this haul last week, and then I did another one again today, so I'm just going to combine the two. Last week when I bought this, I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. And I have to say, while it is not as good as the Aussie, it's still really good. It worked really good. Um, I did feel a difference right after I was done using it, and the next morning was... I could still smell it like it's it it worked good do I think it's as good as the Aussie no but it is really close so if you are on a budget and you need some deep conditioning with argon oil from Morocco this one is not a bad alternative hair clips gotta have hair clips I got two giant ones for a dollar the claw is pretty good. It's good for, you know, a bun. If you want to use it to hold a bun together, well, I don't think it would work really good on thick hair. I have thin hair, but it works good for me. Maybe thick hair, you would have to go bigger. I know they did have bigger ones there, but I think they were only one for a buck. But even still, that's pretty cheap. Uh, then we got these cute little ones. They're, they have like little flower shapes. These were three for a dollar. I haven't used them yet, but they'd be good, like, you know, to hold something on the back of your head. Something, well, your hair. Or, hey, whatever you want to put back there. Suction cups. I always keep suction cups in the house because I can always find a use for them. Or think I find a use for them or I get some brilliant idea. So I got this 12-pack of assorted sizes. These ones are real small. Then you got, like, bigger than these but still smaller than these. And then you got the bigger ones here. So I have an idea for these, and if it works... I'll do a video. Oh, these ones have, I don't think, not, let's see if you can see it. The hook part is metal. I don't know if I like that or not, but for a dollar for 12, I got them. Then I got a different type of suction cup. This is only nine. They're all the same size, but as you can see, the hook here is plastic. Now I know these work because I actually have some of these hanging in my shower to hold a comb, you know, for doing the deep conditioning for your hair. Um, 
I love to bake. I am a baker. I bake all year round, Christmas, Halloween, it doesn't matter. I love to bake. So when I came across this little gem, I got excited. This is a cupcake holder. How cool. Has a lid with a little handle. Let's see if Rhonda can get on there without breaking it. So it's perfect if you're making cupcakes to go somewhere, even if you just want to keep them fresh, you know, on your table. I got three of these bad boys because I figured the holidays are coming and I love to bake and these will come in handy. So I got three of these. These were a dollar. All along the same lines of me loving to bake. I had one of these before and I took it to a party and I forgot it and I was heartbroken even though it was only a dollar. This thing worked great. This is a cake holder. You know, you put your cake in here and it's got a lid. Lid slides on. Once again, you're going to hear the snort monster because she's always got to be under my feet and that would be my dog. So this one also snaps on, well, it slides on. These little locks come out and back on. And then it's got a little handle. I only got one of these. I don't make cakes that often. Um, I usually do cupcakes more, but I did pick up this one for a cake because, like I said, the last time I had one of those, it went to a party and never came home. Come here. Do you want to come up and say hi to everyone? Come here. All right. Here, everybody, is the little snort monster. Yes, she doesn't like to be held, but she has to constantly be near me. Say hello. Yes, put me down. Oh, she just head butted me. That was awesome. That's the little monster that you hear. Don't start barking. Stop. So I'm having a barbecue, an end of summer, beginning of fall barbecue, and you have to have cups. So I got 16 cups, 16 ounce for a dollar. Can't beat it. Red Solo cup, you know, can't beat it. So I got two of those because you just never know how many people may come, want to make a mixed drink, want to put soda in it, whatever. Uh, because I'm having a barbecue, I don't usually buy the lawn size trash bags, but these were five for a dollar and I figure easy cleanup after the barbecue. Can't go wrong. Really? Stop snorting. She's out of control. I am going to have several different types of food at the barbecue, some of which will need to stay cold, some that will need to stay hot. So I got some of these, and this is going to be really bright, so I'm just going to hold it down. There's two in here. They're little lasagna pans, but they'll fit perfectly sideways in my little, what are those called? Bur Bunsen burners? No, that's <laughs> that's in a lab. Um, You know what I'm talking about, right? To keep food, you got the aluminum things and they have the little burners underneath. If somebody can remember what the hell that's called, can you please put it in the comments below? I know you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, two in a pack and I got two. One for hot stuff, one for cold stuff. Let's see, did I get anything else? Oh, I got plastic bags and tin foil, but I didn't think you really needed to see that because I'm pretty sure everyone knows what those are. Um, might as well throw my little tiny Dollar Tree haul in here, too. I went into, I mean, Dollar General. Jesus, I'm getting my dollar stores mixed up. Um, I have a specific idea in mind of another little video that I'm going to do for a Halloween craft. So I also went into Dollar General today, and I picked up a few things. I love these little flameless tea lights, the little, you know, the battery operated ones. I do have the old school tea lights that you have to light and everything, but for the craft I have in mind, I don't think those would be such a really good idea with, you know, the flame and the heat. But I have three orange ones in here for two bucks, and I got two packs of those because, like I said, I also got some yellow and orange tissue paper for the little craft idea. And they didn't have black tissue paper, but I saw this crepe paper streamer, so I figured, what the hell? It might work. It might not. If not, it was only a dollar. The tea lights were two dollars each for three. This was a dollar, and the tissue paper 
was also a dollar. I think that's it. I really thought I got more. Apparently I didn't. Anyway, um, the little eyeshadow which I have on today, which I don't, it is considered eyeshadow. Zoom in. See, it's kind of sparkly. Let's see if you can see it. Kind of sparkly. And my lipstick are from um, Elf is the Long Lasting lu Lustrous Eyeshadow. It's got like little sparkles in it. I think I, um, I did a haul video, but I don't think I actually, oh yeah, I did do swatches. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's moussey to the touch, but this is the eyeshadow. Stop this dog. I'm sorry. She sometimes literally drives me batshit crazy. That's what's on my eyes. It feels mushy to the touch. I like it. The only thing I have a little bit of an issue with is the first time I stuck my finger in there, it kind of came out of the pot. I don't know if they're all supposed to do that or I mean, I really don't know. And this is in the color confetti. And then on my lips, you can't really see it is the Ulta matte lip cream in tender. It's a really pretty color. I'll swatch it for you real quick. I sometimes have an issue with matte lipstick because I have dry lips even though I'm like an EOS addict. I constantly have EOS no matter where I go and I'm always putting it on. But I don't know why sometimes I still have dry lips. It could be the weather changing also. But this is the color. I, I really do apologize guys. I'm going to get this lighting shit figured out because it's driving me crazy. Um... The foundation is my staple. It's the Naked Skin in 4.0. And the Beauty Bomb. I said, what did I, oh. I called it Body Bomb or something in my last video. Um, but it's the Beauty Bomb, which is like a primer and all that. Uh, the under eye, can, the Tone Correcting Concealer is e.l.f. I use it all the time, although you can't really tell because the luggage is back. It never leaves. It just goes with me wherever I go. And the Naked on the Run eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, mascara. I just did a video on this, so you'll see that as well. But I think that is it. I really thought I had more, but apparently I don't. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give me a and please subscribe if you haven't already because you never know what I'm going to do next. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you when I see you.